Alongside Test Park, the St Mary's Leisure Centre was the main sports facility for Southampton Solent University. But when the students discover the new sports building which will be available soon, they probably won't want to come here anymore. The St Mary's Leisure Centre has been the home of Solent's netball, futsal and basketball teams for many years. However, the current facilities are outdated following the modernisation of the main East Park Terrace campus and its popular Spark building. Therefore, the decision was made to build a new sports facility on the northern side of East Park Terrace alongside the Spark. From St Mary's Leisure Centre to the new sports building just behind me, the works have been going on for one year and a half and as you can see, it's almost over. This building is looking absolutely amazing. Hopefully, the Solent students can access it in September 2019. Oh, the sports board, I can't wait to get involved, man. Literally, fresh environment, new, new equipment. Oh, I can't wait, man. I'm completely buzzing. Looks pretty impressive. Uh, I think it looks pretty modern. Um, you know, I think once it's completely ready, as of uh, new, the new uh, academic year, I think it will be a great facility for the university. The new sports building is part of a £100 million development programme that will complete the transformation of the campus. As seen on the 3D plans, the state-of-the-art facilities would include two multi-purpose sports halls, various gyms, one of which will be made available to the public, fitness studios and a sports therapy centre. Students in sports-related degrees will benefit significantly as they will have their own specialised hub for practical and theory sessions, while students' athletes will now have training and recovery facilities that rival the best sporting unis in the country. Um, I think it's really good because it will help sports students do specific things with their course. Like in some conditions when it's like snowing and stuff, for Team Solar especially, we can just go inside there, kick around, have a nice training session. The modern facilities, I know there's a number of different gyms and, and such that are going into it, so that's, that's only going to be uh, positively impact the those students and, and those high performance athletes like you say. The building should become accessible in the coming weeks but its official launch will be in September, ready for the new academic year.